The president of Council of Maritime Transport Unions and Association, come to our comrade Adenka Royo, says truck owners have gone out of business due to the high rate of ETO, extortion at the port corridor, and forceful collection of unreceipted money from non-state actors, also known as area boys. In an event organized by CBI and Maritime Anti-Corruption Network team addressing the corruption issue at Nigeria's port corridor, says extortion from state actors, which include Nigerian Police Force, Lagos State Traffic Management Officers, LASMA, Nigerian Port Authority, NPA, and non-state actors, which include Road Transport Workers Union, Maritime Workers Union of Nigeria, among others. We are no longer in business. Foreigners are taking over all the faces of this business. Are we talking transportation? Can you mention the number of trucks that uh, this foreign company, what do you call it, Metro does? I've seen 405 of their trucks. 405. And the person with one, with two, is still the victim of last time. Is still the victim of road safety. The facilities that this foreign company has, no indigenous company can ever have it. Maybe you don't know, let me tell you today. All these foreign operations of the Nigerian customs on the road, they can never stop any of these foreign trucks for additional check. They don't. It is rather our own trucks that are impounded for infraction. Representative of Association of Maritime Truck Owners, Amato Sanibello, in his presentation called on the government to collapse all checking points by security personnel and non-state actors within the port corridors, if corruption must end. So at, the top, at the top, decide to see the illegalities in our port corridor as a disservice and sabotage of our national economy, the end to extortion and multiple checkpoints will continue to defy and elude any, pro uh, any pragmatic uh, solution. Three, collaboration, collaboration by stakeholders in order to support the efforts of the post standing taxing towards liberation of the court corridor from, uh, from multiple checkpoints and activities of extortion bandits undermining the import and export economy of Nigeria and also killing the holy sector of the maritime industry. Representative of Maritime Anti-Corruption Network, Olusodia Pampa, says the organization is committed to ending corruption in the maritime space with the cooperation of all stakeholders. ...by the depth of things that were happening. So this is only our second meeting, and the purpose of today's meeting is solution. So I think we're not amiss yet. You know, so the first time... We heard about the challenges today. We are trying to now fashion the solutions and be able to live here with concrete ideas of what we're going to do when we leave here. So I want to reassure you, sir, that we're on the same page 